Hey guys, Chuck with Birch's Lawn Care here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the best uh, best mileage tracker app for your phone. Uh, like I was saying on Wednesday, you know, I've always done it old school, so this year we're going to try something new and use an app. That way I can better track my mileage and help me pull reports at the end of the year. So today we're going to take a look at three different mileage tracking apps and what you can do with them on the reports. So here we're going to take a look at my phone. And you can see I have uh, three, um, <clears throat> you can, we're taking a look at my phone, and you can see I've got three apps on my phone. Trip Log, Mile IQ, and Mile Catcher. So to open these apps, you know, download them from the Play Store or your Google Store or whatever app you buy apps from. Um, and we'll start with looking at Mile Catcher. Now I've been driving with these for a few days. I tried making a video of each uh, different app, and the videos were just taking too long, driving around town, doing each app, stop and go. Um, so we're just going to mash these all together, because uh, I think doing a three-part series on an app is uh, way too much video time just to discuss an app that you're going to have to try out for yourself anyway to see if it's going to work for you. So right now... You can see I've got the screen open, and it's showing today's uh, travel to uh, how I've got to classify it. So I'm going to click more. Uh, we'll just do these as where are we got. We'll do it at a, we'll do a meeting. Uh, we'll do one as a business. Who knows how many trips I have in here? We'll do one as medical, and I'm just going down the list of options it's given me and doing each trip as something different that way it'll show more on the report and you can see the uh, options and how it breaks everything down to you so there high fives all my trips have been classified it's showing that whatever the deductions were on those it's showing twenty seven dollars and seventy cents so we'll bust out of that one and now we'll go into mile IQ this one, uh, my IQ breaks them down a little differently. You don't get the options so much, and I'm using the free app right now, and we'll I'll show everything on the pricing. Um, so now we've got you can see at the top we uh, above the date we have personal or business, and this one you just swipe. So we'll do that one as business, that one as personal, that one as business, personal. I've like I said I've had these on for a few days, so there all those are classified. So now we'll go to trip log. And this, you know, everything breaks down a little different. And you can see on the uh, left side of the screen, everything's marked as business. So let's change, or if I can change, let's change that one to moving. And then, oh, oh, I was getting ready to start some mileage there. So these are already classified. Everything I have is classified today um, yeah alrighty this one has been classifying stuff on its own this one hasn't been running the entire time but you can see there's a Tuesday or you know Friday Saturday Monday Tuesday that it was running so we'll break out of that and now we will move over into that later and check it out. Alright, so we looked at the three apps on my phone. Now we're going to switch over and we're going to take a look at the PC here. So, best mileage tracker app. And let's go in and see what we got going on. So, the first one we're going to look at is TripLog. TripLog, and we'll just start with taking a look at the pricing. And you can see they have a free, basic, professional, and enterprise. And you can scroll down. You can go look at this yourself. It's trip mileage, triplogmileage.com. You can go down and you can take a look at it, uh, what, what options each have. Uh, the enterprise doesn't have a price listed. You have to call them. Uh, the professional does. 30 bucks for a year is not bad at all um, if you're going to use it. And like I'm planning on using it. I'm... I'll play with the free one at first, but I may upgrade to to uh, basic or professional by the end of the year, depending on um, 
what we're doing for uh, reports on how easy reports are to pull. And now we'll take, we'll go from this and we'll take a look at my actual trip log. Now, this isn't my company. I did these. I signed them all up through my uh, personal email. That way I could play with them. And then whichever one I choose at the end, I can uh, go through my business email, re-sign up, and actually use it. One thing I like about trip log, you can see right here on the right, on the blue bar, you can uh, use, I haven't played with the invoice customers and reimburse the employees yet, but it links with your QuickBooks. Uh, I don't use FreshBooks, but they also have a FreshBook link also. And I'm not sure what Concur is. Um, so it looks like another program maybe to track, uh, kind of like QuickBooks maybe. So as you can see here, this is just a dashboard. It's bringing up the weekly mileage, how I've been playing with the different uh, categories. You can see I've used personal, medical, charity, and business this week. Um, but what I, and you can do a fuel consumption, but I haven't entered my uh, equipment other than just my truck, just saying it's an F-150 and that's it. But you can look here, here's the report page, and it breaks it down to the percent of driving. Uh, shows you the total miles, the mileage, uh, the deduction of the mileage. And you can see here, it, if you have more than one vehicle entered, you can uh, break it down per vehicle. Maybe I should have done more than one vehicle to show that. But one, another thing I like, if you really like tracking stuff uh, like I do, you can export it. You can see down here I put export to CSV, which is your Excel. And you can open up this report in Excel too. Excuse me, and you can move it over. If you have like I've got a whole file where I track different things. I keep it all in one one big file, uh, an Excel file for my uh, company. And you can see I can add it doesn't want to do that. Okay, there. And it really just keeps breaking down stuff. Um, the same as this. It just puts it in an Excel file format. So the next one we're going to take a look at is mileage tracking or mile IQ. This is the home page. We'll go down. I had to look for a minute to find pricing. They kind of hide it down at the bottom. Now, they have the free. But the free is only 40 drives per month. Um. I'm stopping and going a whole lot. Some of those stops I'm at for a little bit. So I can't use the free one because I'll eat up 40 drives in a month easy. Monthly, it's $6 a month or $5.99 billed monthly. Or you can do an annual. You can pay for the whole year in advance and they bill you at a $4.99 a month, which is $60 or $59.99 billed for the year. I don't know, I wasn't too impressed with my IQ because you can't break it down the way you want. You can't really use the free one during the um, season for because we do so much stop and go. So I, this is the one I had tried when I first started looking at apps. And like I said before, I'm just not really impressed with it. Uh, here's the... Okay, i click continue for overview. I don't want that right now. So this is my actual account that I'm trying out. Like I said, we're doing it as free. So I'm looking at, let's see, where is the re there, report page? <coughs> Excuse me. And it's, it's showing me as $22 in um, deductions. And you can go to create the report. And this is where you can email it to yourself. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure what the Concur program is, but this has that option. And Mile IQ will also go to uh, FreshBooks. But you can see right here, it doesn't have an option to link up with your QuickBooks, uh, like uh, TripLog did. The next one we're going to look at is Mile Tracker, or Mile Catcher, I'm sorry. And let's find the pricing for this guy. Excuse me, guys. I haven't looked for the pricing on here. Oh, plans. Sorry. It was right at the top from my face. So here's your plans and pricing for Mile Catcher. 
you have a premium six month. Uh, these are all prepay. Uh, you can do the six month and you pay uh, five bucks a month, so it's thirty bucks for six month. You can do forty seven eighty eight for a year, or you can buy all the way to three year subscription for one hundred and twenty bucks or one hundred nineteen eighty eight. Uh, I don't see myself doing three months in advance. That seems a, a bit much. And here you can, you can scroll down. You can look at the different options that's available between the free one and the uh, premium versions. And here's the breakdown on my account that I've set up with these guys. Uh, included report. Here, here's just the way it breaks down everything this one does have the option to break it down into categories um, you can even break down to where you just meet your supplier and I'm not sure you have to sit down with your tax with your CPA and see which if it's worth breaking them down uh, into each of these and what you actually can write off or not I have not sat down with my CPA and added asked that question other than I know what I can write down is business miles and personal miles or what I can uh, deduct would be the word I'm looking for there uh, no reports found let's go back to home and maybe I need to add no I'm getting ready to add a trip we do not want to do that Boom. I do not want to add a new trip but anyway there's a, a quick look at these guys and I will also add some snippets from me driving around and playing with them. I know this is kind of a kind of a boring office video, but these are things you need to look at as a um, as a business owner, or even if you're just going to be self-employed. Uh, you know, that's some things you're going to have to look at. You're going to have to do some of the boring administrative work. And you're going to have to figure out which processes are going to work best for you. Don't just take everybody's word for it. Try a few out. See what you like. See what's comfortable for you. And see what's going to work well for you at the end of the year. Because like I said, three years, I just did it by writing it down. And it works fine. But I'm starting to get to where I don't want to keep so much paper. I've got files and envelopes that are full where I keep everything for an audit if I ever get one. I've been lucky and haven't been audited yet, but I'm sure it's going to come. If I stay in business long enough, I'm sure I'll see an audit in my time. So anyway, guys, there you go. We're taking a look at the three uh, three apps I liked, and the app I'm going to go with, stay to the end of the video, and we'll talk about that. So we've got it on Magic Trip. So as we pull out, I should drive for a minute or two, and it should start tracking. And we are going to go to the gym. Now we're stopped. Now I've went one and a half miles since I reset my trip meter. Trip will be stopped in five minutes. I don't know what that means. I'm just stopping it. Trip auto stopped and saved. Uh, it says my mileage should be 127,782. My mileage is 127,781.9. So it's, uh, it says 1.6 miles. My truck says 1.4. So that's not a big uh, that's good so we'll save that now oh it says your deduction reimbursement is 80 I didn't know it was gonna do that it, it's tracking me as business now I can change it says tap to change activity tap to name location I don't want to name location uh, here, see what, okay, here you can change, see this is B, so B for business, but this is personal, so we're going to put this on personal. Alright guys, I'm back at the house real quick, I forgot my wallet, but this thing is still showing me, it's not moving, and I've already driven, I mean the, tr the other one has got me at nine miles so far and I only turned it on halfway so I don't understand my location is on no start stop required but
I keep hitting take a drive, mile IQ's ready. It's showing me nothing is. Oh, guys. Alright. Well, I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to give it its, its chance. Uh, uh oh. It's doing. Oh, look at that. Notice me. Yeah. Notice, notify me after every drive. So it did pick. I didn't think it was picking up, but it has been picking up. Um. Oh. So now that it's picked up this drive, it shows 19 miles, and then you swipe left for personal or right for business. So we're going to swipe left, swipe, swipe left. We'll just continue. All right. Oh, auto there, 100% classified. Use, uh, hopefully I'm not getting too much glare in there. Now we're going to try out the mile catcher. Uh, locker service, standby, that's what we want. We're here. Uh, trips, garage report, locations. We'll go to trips. And... Add a trip. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. Oh, airport travel. Oh, this is personal. We need an address. Well, I don't know where I'm at, people. Hopefully that's got an auto feature because I don't understand if you don't know where you're at because I don't know the address to where I'm at right now. I can look it up on Google, but I can tell you if I have to do that, it's going to be too many steps and I'm going to dislike the program right away. So I'm going to go ahead and turn around. And head sort of back to the house. Got to do an errand. But we'll see what that does. And uh, either that works or that doesn't. And then uh, once we get that up, then we can run some reports and see how these three programs work against one another. And then you can make a decision off of the little, little, very little bit that I have done with these programs. And maybe spark you to take a look at some different ones. And, or if you know some things that I've done or have not done on these that would make them work better for me, let me know. Uh, but anyway, I will... Uh, See you guys when I get back to the other end of this trip. So the end of the, uh, now we're at the end of the video. You guys see me play around with all these uh, apps, and the app I've chosen to go with is Triplog. I really like this one. I like the report breakdown. I like that I, but I do like the like the fact that it does have the uh, QuickBooks option. Now, as far as invoicing customers, I'm not sure how I would work that or how that could be put into my business per se, but uh, I do like the uh, the trip log. I think that's the one I'm going to give a shot at this year and see how it works for me. And if it doesn't, then I'll try out another one, but I think this one's going to work well for me. I like the reports. I like that I can just click a button and I can put it right into my Excel spreadsheet and I can track things there and it's all the way I like it to be set up. And then I can play with the templates and I can customize it and I can make the template the way I want it and I can see it the way I want it. I'm very visual. 
So I think this is going to work for me, and this is the one I'm going to go with. So guys, check it out below. Check all three out. Check some more. Add in the comments if there's a different way you like to do it. And uh, just share with the community on what you've learned or what you like or dislike about these kind of apps. And uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. And if you do check out Triplog and you do decide to go with Triplog, there's a link down in the description below for, uh, I think it's a 20% off because I'm, I'm going with them. And I can get a, um, I get, I can get you, twenty percent off, of your uh, membership, to use Triplog. But I will leave links to all three of these below, so quick links, so you can go check them all out. But like I said, if you do just do decide to try Triplog, use the link below, save yourself twenty percent. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah.